hardware connection. Okay, this is the basic setup for connecting Generator X to your computer. You can see that the Generator X has got a larger power supply to the previous XM generator. There's a 12 volt, 2 amp power supply. We could have used a 1 amp power supply, but again, we don't want compromises. We did tests and we found that the 2 amp power supply had less ripple and it ran cooler. And so you went for the 2 amp power supply. Here you can see our generator rigs connected to two spooky boosts and connected to them two spooky remotes. You can see that the boosts and the remotes are the same as the XM generator. All your accessories, which you currently have, will connect directly, uh, directly onto Generator X. Here you'll see a pair of TENS pads connected. The ports on the top where the TENS pads are connected, they are connected to generator number one. The remote is connected to generator number two. So in this instance, you can perform treatment contact mode for killing, if you like, whilst running detox programs on the generator number two. Here you've got a generator X connected to our Spooky Plasma. Spooky Plasma is our new plasma device. It's plasma only. It doesn't have the ultrasonic contact mode or coil. It's more refined in the design. The fans are quieter and they turn off after the generator turns off. So if you're doing a long session, after the program finishes, the plasma will turn off and everything will be completely silent. So it's possibly good for nighttime use. You can see that we still use filters on the output for Generator X. We put a lot of effort into the shielding of Generator X and it's more robust than our XM generator. Um, but the plasma device has put out such strong fields that we still couldn't guarantee that there wouldn't be a problem. And so we just recommend to still use those filters. Those filters are supplied for every plasma unit that we ship. So they're not a separate purchase. Software installation. New version, Spooky2 software. If this is the first time you've connected Generator X, you'll be prompted to install the drivers. And so here you'll see the prompt that comes up and it's the FTDI CDM drivers. And so you extract the drivers. Um, it will also let you install the CP2100X driver. This is the driver for the XM generator. And assuming that you already have your XM generators installed, you can cancel this stage. This is the Spooky2 software, which drives both our XM and our new Generator X machines. It's running in basic mode at the moment, so we've got four tabs along the top. I'm going to go to advanced mode, so I can show you the more advanced options. If I go to the control tab, I see there's two boxes here. Now I've got one Generator X, but these are the two generators that are inside Generator X. If I go to Utils and Rescan Devices, which is always good to do after disconnecting a generator, you can see that those two are there. If you go to System, you can see that it's shown as a USB serial port, COMS3 and COMS4. To run a generator, is exactly the same as your XM generator. You can go to a preset, choose an empty preset, empty shell preset. Let's say we go to Plasma. Gosh, I haven't updated my presets to include the ones for, for specifically the generator X. But let's choose a normal one. We'll go to contact mode and we'll go to killing contact mode. You can then choose the program that you select. 
that you wish to one so go to the acne programs choose a couple of programs you go straight to control allow generator overrides click on a generator this is generator number three which is our first generator and we press start now the waveforms load and the generator starts up you can see that the generator is running the frequencies in the background there's nothing really to do <laughs> you don't push any buttons on the generator the generator knows what you want to do and it just does it 